Okay, so I'm Dr. Colleen Reichman, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the link between OCD and eating disorders, um, because it's extremely important. There's so much research coming out that says that the overlap between the two is profound. There is so much overlap. Some numbers suggest up to 40% of people who have eating disorders will also have symptoms of OCD or meet the diagnostic criteria for OCD. And then other research suggests about 17% of people who have OCD will meet the diagnostic criteria for an eating disorder. So the overlap is unignorable. Um, it's profound. And so it's so important to be addressing um, with a clinician what's going on. Um, is this OCD? Is this an eating disorder? Is this both? Um, and there is a lot of overlap between the two, specifically between anorexia and OCD. There's just a ton of overlap um, in the experience of things like rituals and obsessions, um, as well as just you know perfectionism and cognitive inflexibility, um, things along those lines. And it's important to be addressing, hopefully with a clinician, whether things like things that we see in eating disorders like rituals around cutting up food or eating in a certain order, whether that is more driven by an eating disorder or perhaps more driven by OCD um, on its own. So um, yeah, so important to be addressing that in therapy and to have a therapist who deeply understands both illnesses. Um, there's definitely differences between the two. There's certainly an egocentric aspect to eating disorders, meaning they are experienced of the self a lot of times, like this is part of me versus OCD is often experienced as more egodystonic or kind of this is a disorder, this is separate from me. So that is a definite difference. Um, but like I said, there are also so many crossovers. And sometimes what's really important to know is that there can be um, parts of eating disorder treatment that can exacerbate OCD if it's not also being addressed and folded into the work. So essentially the takeaway is you definitely, definitely want to be working with someone who has a really deep knowledge of both and can help you all along. So all throughout treatment, um, unpack like what is this an eating disorder? Is this OCD? Is this both? Um, because I've just had too many experiences working with folks who went for, you know, a really long time having OCD never addressed because they were just being, just being treated for an eating disorder. Um, and the person suffered much longer than they had to because the clinician didn't address it um, in the moment. And it happens a lot, I would say, in the field because there's also the um, phenomenon of malnutrition and caloric deficits can for some people induce an OCD like experience that then somewhat resolves with um, weight restoration and proper um, sustained um, calories essentially. So sometimes um, what can problematically happen is that clinicians might write off what's going on with obsessive behavior or obsessive um, compulsive behavior as just part of like an energy deficit. And while that definitely can happen, if you're interested, you can read about it in the Minnesota starvation experiment, which is an experiment that was done decades and decades ago, um, would never pass an IRB review board now, nowadays, which is good, but um, back then it did. And it was a, a group of men were um, in an experiment where they were in a prolonged caloric deficit and, they, and the researchers observed their um, psychological happenings with that and obsessions and compulsions were something that were really highly reported during the caloric deficit. And then with sustained um, nutrition eventually did subside. So that can certainly happen. Um, and it's unfortunately why sometimes OCD is like overlooked, especially when somebody's struggling with anorexia. So again, it's just so important. The main takeaway that I want for this video is it's so important to have a clinician who's going to help you address both, or at least be like sort of unpacking 
and looking into both with curiosity with you. Um, at Wildflower Therapy in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, we are trained in both disorders and are would be honored to help you in the journey of um, unpacking and deciphering um, what you might be struggling with. That's all.